Yeah, morning everyone. Wednesday, 22nd of April 2014 and it's the night after the storm and uh, you can see the uh, sheets have been ripped off the uh, Noahs on the beach there and they've been flapping away for a couple of days. This is what we've got here today and uh, once again it's a storm surf sort of situation. I guess it's around uh, 6 to maybe 8 feet but it's definitely mellowed right down overnight. You can actually see some blue sky out there today which is good to see. Uh, winds are out of the south-southwest and uh, just in general it's another no, non-surfing day. You're going to have to hit the southern corners and point breaks up and down the coastline. It's going to be uh, pretty wild today so I'm just going to step back out of these showers to uh, finish the report. But uh, yeah, it's a uh, it's been a wild 48 hours that's for sure and uh, hard to go out to all those people up in uh, the valley, uh, also up in Maitland in fact. Uh, Burton Automotive themselves, the sponsor of the surf report, uh, getting swamped in their car yards yesterday. So I hope that all works out okay for Kim and the gang today. But uh, yeah, look in general, it's been uh, one of the worst storms I've seen in uh, you know the last 20 years of doing surf reporting, and uh, we're going to have to really uh, check check the damage on the beaches today. I guess if we just stick our heads out here and have a look at Newcastle Beach, well, there's a little bit of sand left there, but in general. Um, there's a lot of new rocks being exposed and uh, things are pretty out of control. That's the situation. Uh, once again, it's a matter of uh, mopping up and counting the damage after what's been an incredible storm period. We'll see you guys same time tomorrow. Have yourself a great day.